if I'm remembering correctly, we do kind of have our own situation. Yeah, we we in a very interesting predicament. Yeah. I think uh, your hopes are resting on on Jasper's shoulder <laughs> to <see, laughs> take you out of that dire situation you're in. So, I don't know. I don't know if we can do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah there, are still, there are still methods you can get away with it. But let's see what happens. So, um, question to to both uh, to the ones that played the last session of it and four uh, one of you oh. wants to give the the recap and uh, actually first uh, Richard what was what happened the last session you played in do you remember uh, wow um, nope yeah I, I, I want was, was, was a town with bad guys you were uh, I turned into a cat, but I don't know if that was the last session. I might have been, I don't really remember. Oh yeah, you pl uh, I think it was on on Quarry Strait where you were still trying to to find a way to beat the Jawbone, the bandit leader, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, he was here. Uh, he was he was uh, with us during like the trip in between the Necro uh, yeah. Necropolis and Quarry yeah. Strait. Yeah, just uh, the character. The character Jasper was with the party all along, but he was just. Well, like, not, Richard, not Richard was there. Yeah. Like I remember he turned into like a raccoon. <laughs> uh, that like, uh, elder crow. Oh, thing. You know, that's right. We were in the desert, and uh, there was yeah. like a, a statue thingy that we messed with. That was the last. That session I played. Re right. Yeah, it was. The, it was the session right before we entered the necropolis. Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, from that point uh, all the way to our uh, lasted session, uh, which one of you wants to give the recap or do you want to roll for it? Uh, I'm, I'm going to roll for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. If you want it. A D20, each one. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, I think the... It's on the bard, David. Okay, so... Last session... We... We, we met someone who was alive in the necropolis. Mm -hmm. he, he couldn't direct, directly lead us back to his master's house, but we found a workaround with that by just following him as he was going. Mm -hmm. We got there, we learned... He was a rather famous bard, and it, he had he was under the spell of an enchantress whose name I can't remember. Mm -hmm. uh, Let me she, pop up her. She, yes. Yeah, yeah, that lady. <laughs> uh, she, she told us she was gonna help us get to the docks through a shortcut. Gave us both a potion to drink. There was some low insight rolls, so we drank it, and both of us wound up waking up naked in cages. Uh -huh. 
forgetting anything? Uh, we broke out of the cages. Uh, eventually. Uh, you eventually got to mine. There's some, uh, uh, misty steps. Uh, we ended up yeah. running. Uh, we're held up in a storage room. Uh, and a bed bed. Uh, and the, and the last thing that we heard was, uh, the bard guy being like, Oh yeah, Fulmar, your master's gonna get you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think it's about it. So, yeah. Uh, Jasper. Uh, while you're, yeah. you as a character has been quiet, uh, the, the later part of the journey, all the way up until the party reached the necropolis. Uh, I, I'll let you decide uh, re retroactively what did you do this whole time. Because there is one important aspect of this whole journey. The party, including the, the dark child, <coughs> the witch that is guiding you on, on this quest, uh, had to pay a, a blood amount as sort of a of a of a tax of a toll to enter the necropolis everyone paid right yeah. uh, except uh four and and milo who who were well, uh i paid oh you did yeah because you have yeah. uh, a background that you have already you already have been in the necropolis or you live there part of your life so i consider you mm -hmm. as um, a, ki a kind of citizens but David, the dark child, and if you want to, to get in, you have to pay an amount of blood as well. Um, and in mechanical standpoint, it's just uh, a 1d4 point of damage that you receive. Mm, no, I don't like it, because your blood can get used against you, so... Uh... I would try to sneak in. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, there is, uh, <laughs> you, could, you you see, you cannot turn into flying creatures yet, right? No, I would turn into a scorpion. A scorpion. Yeah, because uh, you would want, you would try to... Oh, uh, you know what? Um... Yeah, you can give me yeah, a stealth. Sure yeah, you Go can. Ahead, sorry. You can give me a stealth check. Uh, using either your uh, dexterity or the scorpions. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I would hang out by the entrance and look, and observe, and see if any small creatures of any kind move mm -hmm. in the region, yeah. like in that on the other side. In the necropolis area, mm -hmm. yeah, there young beetles, carrion beetles, anything, any kind of a uh, small creature. Yeah, as a druid, you you would think, uh, you would think as one, you would think as a a uh, beast of the land, and that is perfectly fine. But to your surprise, the closer and closer you get to the necropolis, even like one day away from it you started to notice there is no life near the necropolis. It's not <coughs> the, the citizens that are undead, uh, reanimated. It's life itself don't last for long in the necropolis as a region. So there right. is no living creature other than the ones enhanced by magic. Mm. Alright, well in that case, <clears throat> uh, I'll probably just try to stealth myself in. I mean, did that? Did I see them pay blood to a particular being? Or yes. did they just come out of them when they went through the gate? He, was, okay. He was... So a gate actually, he, he was to an undead creature. Uh, a creature that... Uh, let me see if I have the, the image here. But it was a shadowy figure with... Uh, Look okay. more like a flying cloak, uh, incorporeal cloak, than with a 
creature. This is the official uh, artwork right here. Oh, nice. Yeah, I want to go through like the list of beasts at some point just to see what to use for stuff. Well, I'm, I'll just try my own then, because uh, as a druid, I'm very opposed to undead. They are outside of the cycle of nature. And, uh, not sure I could take that monster on my own. Uh, although I may find out here in a minute. All right, so I'm going to... Oh, no, never mind. My stealth is terrible. Shoot. Um, yeah, that's not happening. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, all right. I'm trying to think of what kind of beast to actually have a decent stealth score. <laughs> that I would have seen. Could you turn into a spider? I feel like that might help. Uh, hang on. Me. Uh, well, it can't be. I, I don't think I can. Can I do tiny creatures? I can't remember if I can do it. it has no, to you can You can do easy. any size. Uh, they just have to have a, a CR limitation. So, or and yeah, uh, and the speed limitation. Mighty spider. Yeah, because if you can, and that, uh, I'd imagine they have like spider walks, so and you can just climb the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was. Get over that way. Uh, that is one thing. Uh, you, I think you can turn in a, into a creature with climbing well, speed. So if you cannot do flying, well, you can do that. Yeah. So it's up as plus four, but that's better than my plus one. So I guess we'll try for that. Okay. See if I can't go. Yeah. This stealth, uh, you're turning to a, a spider or an insect? Yeah. Okay. We'll go for a spider. So the stealth check is to uh, not be noticed as you hide in one of your companions clo clothing or on their bags something like that okay all right uh, if i can get something inside somebody's bag can i get advantage on that rule mm. i would say that uh, if it were a normal human guard you would have but since it's a a magical creature you cannot have advantage only a normal roll. Uh, wait, it's a shadow, right? Yes. So can I hide in it? Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it has actually a good perception, so... Yeah, this is going to suck. All right, here we go. Uh, <coughs> on, uh, so this is going to be a plus four. So what do you believe? No, don't pass. Uh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> You believe too hard. <laughs> One. Nice. Yeah, okay. Um, it's been a day or so, but Jasper, you are inside the necropolis alongside your companions. Since you were... Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, you successfully did uh, manage to sneak inside. Uh, as soon as you entered, uh, the dark child left for for her to deal with things of her own, and the rest of the group uh, searched for the docks of the city, the necropolis. Uh, Jasper, uh, as you were approaching it, the the desert and the lands themselves started to looking each time more. Uh, more dark, more dreadful, and more deprived of life. But the necropolis. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Yeah, the necropolis was the epitome of it all. You see, in front of you, as you enter the giant, enormous gates, um, uh, inside the, of the walls, you see uh, uh, buildings and houses of different sizes and shapes but they all 
look like they are made of with origin on a totally different architectural style almost as if they belong to a totally different uh, culture that no yeah. one uh, no one in this land can replicate you know that the necropolis is, doesn't belong to a single culture or to a single race of people but instead it's uh, both an exile uh, land and a refuge to those who wish to delve into the dark arts and the obscure uh, knowledges. Uh, s the, there is no sun, no sunlight, and no uh, nothing that glimmers or reflects light. Uh, the city is dark as night during the whole pe uh, 24 hour period that is it like overcast and like super dark and cloudy during the day or is it some kind of magical darkness yeah it, it, you think that there uh, it can only be magical darkness because even though there are places that uh, are darker than normal or places that have like uh, a night lasting for three days or more this is something uh, completely out of the natural order, okay? okay? And yeah, the the sky is super cloudy and the clouds are dark, as almost if it's about to rain at any point, but it never does. And as you walk the streets, the streets are uh, sprawling, are are big, and the houses are uh, are separated and f far apart from each other, but. Uh, there is no one wandering the streets, at least for the first few hours that you wander inside of it. There are no uh, vehicles, there are no draft animals, there is no humanoid shape in the streets in the first hours that you are in the necropolis. Uh, and you wanted to go to the docks as... Uh, I don't know if you want to go, but... Uh, the rest of the party, Milo, Four, and David decided to go to the docks because if you want to have some uh, if, to discover some news from the outside world or to have some someone from from someplace else to, to talk to you should go to the docks because the merchants only come as far as the docks themselves to inside so of this merchants actually trade with this place, huh? Yes that can't be good. That can't be good. I, uh, I can't see yeah. anything good coming out of that. Um, also, does, does anybody else like not trust the dark child person? Like, at all? I mean, I feel like that's just kind of her vibe. <laughs> I mean, just like, you know, that name tag saying, hello, I'm the dark child. I'm just like, uh, something's hey, up. Hey, look. You know, <laughs> we're in the, she wants to go to the okay. necropolis. Alright, that's already not a good sign. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. She's useful at the moment. You know what I mean? I she could be I nice. I don't want to leave notes on all the mausoleum doors saying that their their garden is viol or their yard is in violation of their HOA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh this whole description is just for you to because I, you, oh yeah, you, no, you I weren't, yeah, done. you weren't here when I when I did this whole description description thing, but since you've been here, you already met another shadow. You already met some other undead creatures that attacked you, and you managed to sleep at least one long rest here inside of this damned city. Right. And then on last session, the group found a normal human uh, living creature that they mention is this uh, bard uh, which the name I don't remember and I didn't write down here <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll just create another name if no, no one remembers <laughs> but um, he he told them that he was working uh, almost as a almost kind of like a slave to an enchantress and this was to a Maybe a revelation to some of you, maybe just some curious fact, but n not all who dwell in the necropolis are necromancers. As it is, uh, as, is, as it is said, it's 
it's a house to anyone who wants to study or discover dark secrets and the school of enchantment that is to manipulate and control the mind of another is also considered a very dark and, and, and uh, evil thing to do Although, well, yeah. yep. you went it into the mansion of this Lyre Lindra, this elf enchantress and you found the most beautiful lush green uh, <laughs> and uh, well decorated and beautiful house that Uh, of probably all of the necropolis but she did betray um, David and Four now this is one <laughs> another important yeah. aspect uh, Jasper, as a druid <laughs> I think you would have at least a, 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 a tiny little wanting to, to get inside of her house just to see the green after so many days that you are in the desert and then this Deadlands, but uh, yeah. now that uh, you, um, I just told you, uh, the boys went there. They had a little chit chat, but then they were betrayed. So well, I would say my, my passive, my passive intuition is 17. Oh yeah, you have that one. Okay, so uh, if you were not uh, to to do her beating. Uh, she did ask for the party. Uh, the party said that they wanted to go to the docks. She said that she has a underground way that it's uh, it works in magical ways that uh, makes one go in less time. Because the thing is, uh, the necropolis is a city the size of a realm. The size of a kingdom. It's freaking yeah. huge. So, uh, as you can see on the map, uh, <laughs> that black Uh, dot in the in the map is it's not the whole city but most of the uh, the city is like 80% of that so <clears throat> anyways uh, roll an insight check for us then um, coming up Wow, I rolled low. Oh, <laughs> no, one. One. Never mind. You, that one. As the, yeah, this, uh, this enchantress is so good that uh, she, she even manipulates the dice roll in her favor. Apparently. Uh, yes. Um, so, Jasper, you do not detect any malice, any mm -hmm. hidden intentions on the way she speaks, on the way she portrays herself. She convinces the three of you that she only wants to help in exchange for a favor that she did ask, but it was a minor favor. Just grab something for her while you were in the docks. Uh, yeah. So would you think that you would have fallen for her spell? I, well, with that die roll, I'm, yeah, pretty sure. Just so we're in the same page, because I would argue that <laughs> with that <laughs> that one, <laughs> there was. It was an act of warning. Yeah. <laughs> They're like fully enthralled by this lady. Okay. Mm. So now we know what It's Jasper been up this whole time. Uh, you did drink a potion that she offered you, uh, saying that it's sort of a elixir a remedy for you to not receive the negative effects of traveling through the underground ways but in truth that potion uh, simply uh, l left you unconscious and unable to to perceive your surroundings for some hours you woken up in a, in a cell you did try to, ex to escape but you uh, eventually uh, w were captured once again, right? If I'm not mistaken? Or well, escape should uh, be fairly easy because I can just escape shift from something small. Yeah, yeah. But the important... Which I can stay in that room for two hours. That might make it hard for me to get captured if I don't get noted. But, it's up to you. Yeah, but for the ease of it, 
the three of you uh, now wake up uh, not in a dark room anymore and the one person that is uh, in the same uh, racet as you are is the bard he doesn't hide the fact that he is there against his will if he's being controlled he's being manipulated by the enchantress to be there and yet he talks with you as he is ordered to he says are you all waking up finally okay wait where are we at <laughs> in, in are a we cell. still in the cage yeah you're in the cage uh, well, we had escaped yeah but uh, remember how the last session ended Oh, no, we were in a storeroom. We were, we were uh... We locked ourselves in a storeroom. Yeah, we had locked ourselves in a storeroom. Uh, we had gotten our gear back, and then he had, uh, uh... Did that thing from behind the door. He said, uh, your master's been waiting for you. Oh, okay. So we got out. <laughs> you got out, okay. Perfect. Uh, then that's where you are uh, yeah your master is waiting for you is uh, is being said directly to four okay. so we just said that right mm -hmm. okay <laughs> is it just him or are there other people there and like the sound of it uh, yeah, you've heard a lot. Yeah, I mm -hmm. would say that you heard a lot about auction houses. So that is an an hypothesis. I've had about two weeks to think about what four would do. Uh. <laughs> Here, here's what he's going to do. He's going to open the door, and then he's going to punch the board <laughs> as hard as he can. I'm going to be casting inflict wounds on him at Ooh. third level. Okay. That is a hard hit. <laughs> so that's 5d10, I believe. Uh, yes. Let's, let me double check that, but... It's one. It, it's it's a uh, it's three. Uh, yeah, it's three. Uh, it's three d ten. And then an additional one d ten for each level ab above first. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's five d. Yeah, but you need to to hit him. His AC. <laughs> Let's see if I do it. Okay. Uh, how do I go about doing this? Uh, da da da. I don't know how to set up. Okay, great. Then we're just going to do this. So it's that. So to hit, it's my intelligence plus my proficiency bonus, which is yeah. plus six. Okay, let's do this. Not 20. Oof. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah, do you want to kill this man? Because that's... <laughs> yeah, he's fully, gonna, he's fully gonna kill this man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, since he, he wasn't just, expecting... In mm -hmm. The bard wasn't expecting uh, anything of the sort, so you automatically... Uh, you, you get like a, a surprise round to, to just cast your spell. And since you rolled a nat 20, that doubles the amount of dice that you are rolling. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna roll this. Jensen City. Ten D ten guys. We're talking ten D ten. You can do deal <laughs> up to one hundred points of damage. Let's see how this goes. Okay. It's forty six. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the the uh, the bard sheet from from Volo's guide 
only has 44 hit points per standard, so... <laughs> can I describe what happened? Yeah, you can, please do. I want to hear from, from your... I... So... <laughs> So to describe what happens in like the seconds before he opens the door. Four gets a look on his face of just like, like, oh shit. <laughs> and then just pure panic. Just pure fucking panic. So he opens the door, he fucking squares up and just punches him center mass as hard, as hard as he physically can. The board gets thrown back, hitting a wall. Uh, makes a fucking impact crater <laughs> out of his mouth, out of his eyes, black like ichor of fucking starts leaking out. <laughs> this man is a fucking sh <laughs> The bard crumples to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do I see anybody else out there? <laughs> uh. You don't. As you look around, you don't see anyone else uh, in there. Oh no! Where are? Where am I? Uh, you look around and you don't see anyone else. Okay, so um, in that case, let's go to the to our map here. I think it's all black for now. Yeah. Uh, and you can position yourselves here at this room right here. I don't know. I don't see nothing. On the left, middle left of the map. Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, yeah. If he's completely cadaveric corpse fight yeah I, I mean uh, since uh, inflict wounds is a um, necro uh, necrotic damage spell right mm -hmm. uh, yeah it's, it's uh, threat is necrotic yeah you've you've uh, you completely wilt all uh, life from his body he in instantaneously turns into a a mummified version of himself all the beauty that this man had on him that was part of what uh it was something that uh, helped him to achieve the the famous uh, uh um the, f uh, the 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 amount of fame that he received was also because both his talent and his appearances and you instantaneously turned him into a zombified version of himself. He doesn't even have time to say anything back to you. He just uh, looks in terror. Even though he's under a spell, he suddenly notices what's happening. And then simply dies. I think, I think right after 4 does that, he like kind of goes up, kind of like falls to his knees, and just starts crying. <laughs> he just starts like he just starts weeping. Uh, he starts kind of like muttering to himself, like I shouldn't have came here. This was a mistake. I can't go back. Just this, 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 he's fucking just a mess. <laughs> Okay, so uh, all of you are in this room, and the door is opened before you. What do you do? Hold on. I have a question. Yes. So theoretically, okay. Uh huh. If I were to revivify the body, would that break the uh, enchantment on him? 
Ooh, good question. You can make a either a religion or arcana check because this is a, a question. Sorry. What? I'm gonna give four bardic inspiration for that. Okay, okay, bardic. Perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna make the D8. 13, and I'm gonna do bardic on that. Uh, D8. Uh. Uh, so 17. And hold on, let me check. I have one more knowledge of a past life. Can I use it on this? Uh, yes, you can. Eight. <coughs> <coughs> oh, 18. Yeah. <laughs> 18 is enough. With all the knowledge you have, you think if you revivify a person, uh, as soon as uh, as someone dies, an enchantment would lose effect on said person. So if you revivify him, he will be not enchanted. <laughs> okay. In that case, immediately, like I think for like that dawns on him. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fuck. Uh, he kind of like crawls his way over to the bard, kind of puts him on his back, and just goes, Okay, this is gonna suck. Uh, he plunges his arm into like his like stomach, uh, grabs his heart uh, inside of him, and then <laughs> casting the vivify, I'm gonna uh, uh, have like electricity surge all around for. Uh, I'm going to jumpstart his heart again. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, and that is my my cast. <laughs> okay. As Sweet. as the bard recovers consciousness, uh, you can see that uh, your your healing spell does not. Uh, give him back his his full appearance his skin is still wilted and he is a little uh, pale in, in, in tone and even his eyes uh, turn a, a, a little bluer uh, than they were before but his eyes open and he gasps for air after that after the death that he received. He <gasps> oh God. Oh. What happened? Hey, I, you're good. Okay. Uh, what did you? I hold uh, back. Uh, how am I? Oh, uh, hey, 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 buddy. Uh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna, this is gonna hurt. My arm is still in him. <laughs> so I'm gonna like, I'm gonna pull it out. <laughs> uh, kind of like wipe off the fucking viscera. Okay, you're good. <laughs> what is it? Uh, he he he's there, uh, gasping and not <laughs> knowing what to do because he just literally died. He just died. Sorry about that. You just you said you said something, maybe panic, and then I uh. Yeah, oh, fuck. <laughs> is Jasper in the room with us? Yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, my gaze turns in. You're like, oh, shit. Uh, all you do better here? <laughs> Have you been here the entire time? <laughs> Jasper? Are you sure? Can you hear it? Oh no, he's dead. <laughs> he he is uh, stunned by the, what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that checks out. 
But I'm gonna test Cure Wounds at a third level on the Bard. Just to try and close up that gaping wound that Four just pulled his arm out of. Fourteen hit points. Bye-bye. Thanks to read. You did. You did good. Look the pot. Yeah, let me see <laughs> if the bard has. You, you did great. Hey, thank you. Thanks. I appreciate it. I uh, I need to sit down. <laughs> was, was that the one? What? What? Was that your plan, or was it just a? Uh... On the fly thing. If I said yes, yes would you believe? Me? Yeah, I okay. Um. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was the plan all along. I've been here and getting distracted and again, yep, yep, that was that was planned. <laughs> Uh, Thor is still crying, by the way. He has not, like, quit. He's still just... He's... He's... He basically had a panic attack, and now it's kind of slowly coming down. <laughs> yeah, uh, and, uh, and, uh, the bard say, Well, this is... This is something I never felt... And I never thought I would. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And bud. And. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mad, right? I. I. I did die, right? You get used to it. <laughs> uh, I. Sh I sure will not. But okay. <laughs> It wasn't even for a full minute. Yeah, you you you've been dead for like a couple seconds, maybe. It could be worse. Ask me. <laughs> oh my! Oh, fuck. Well, you gonna be all right? Yeah, I know it's I know it's a lazy breathe. You you can breathe, right? <laughs> yeah, I can, but you know what? Okay. I think a valid question. I think I, I am cured of the enchantment. I don't feel. Oh well, yeah, that I, I don't feel anymore that uh, a horrible feeling of. Uh, it was almost like this, uh, this sound on my head that wouldn't let me. We think straight. Yeah, that's called mind control. The uh that that Faye wannabe lady. Yeah. Yeah, she got you good. <laughs> you would you be interested in helping us kill her? Yeah, you wanna help us kill her? I'll let you put the knife in her throat. Well, uh, I mean, do I? I think so. But All right, good. Uh, how much? How much do you remember? Well, uh, like, like, namely, uh, the way to out here. <laughs> you know the way to escape. Yeah, I remember everything. She ordered me to cool. to go and and and. And have you meet your master? Yeah, didn't that, yeah, nope, nope, nope. We, we, I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware of what she wanted. <laughs> like, just, uh, do you know any way out of here from here? Like, do you know any way out where we don't have to run into all of that? <laughs> yes, I... I'd rather not unpack that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I do not know every 
every way out of the of here, but I'll do my best. We at least know one. Yeah. Thank you. No, not by all. But I need a minute. <laughs> so we're gonna take that. <laughs> Let me think for a while. Uh, uh, well, do you know any? Do you know any safe place where we can hold out for like I don't know, an hour? <laughs> there is no place where we could wait for one hour. Uh, eventually, uh, she might be. She might send someone else when I don't return, unless I. Pretend to be under her control. Do you think oh that yeah, no, we're not doing that. No, I'm not going to send you back in there and have her be like, "Oh yeah, hey, you're not under my control anymore," and then have it redone because I don't want to waste all my good. <laughs> she would be able to tell them. Probably. Okay. Okay. In that case, do you just know the place? Or we could just leave. Because we need to leave, like, now. Preferably. Yes. Um, well, uh, I, we cannot go through the... We, I, I know one place where we can leave, but it would be hard, and... Uh, we would leave the underground way, so if you want to go to the docks, we would need to to go uh, no. by foot. I, I think the docks, I think the docks may be out of the question for now. Yeah, so the most they know where we were gonna go. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> okay, you know what? Main prerogative, just get out of here, and then we can decide where to go after. Okay. Okay. So Do you know how many exits we could leave? Like, theoretically, okay. Yeah, there is only way out. One way out that don't go only directly to their lap. Uh, of course. Well, we don't have that many options. I guess we just gotta try it. What do you think, David? I think if we, we should take the way out that he knows. Might be our safest bet. Unless you want to go take care of this first. You think you're ready for that? I think... Because I said there's only one way. They know there's only one way out. Which means whether I like it or not, get out of here. You have to talk to him. Which... I guess I should stop complaining and just go, because I could spiral all day. <laughs> I guess we should just go. Uh, hey, uh, David, could you help me out? Nice. Yeah, I'm a little light. Hey. Uh, I grab four by the arm and just pull them off. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, David. You need to. I'm glad you're here. So, this is a little easier, at least. Okay. You're here. So, uh, as you are, uh, 
Uh, let me just uh, try to see if uh, Richard, are you here? Hello. Yeah. As you Hello. take a, a a little rest uh, to to go and find the, the the secret way out. Why don't we make our short rest right here? See if Richard comes back in the meantime. Okay. okay. Five minutes and we'll be back. Okay.
Thank you. Who are we missing? Ben? Richard? I'm here. I'm here. Nice. Everybody. Hey, Eric. <laughs> okay, now we're all here. So, Yay. Uh, Jasper, you you're caught up on everything that happened from the death and rebirth of the bard to <laughs> yeah. all right okay mm. the bard was killed one shot it and then revivified so <clears throat> yeah i punched him so hard <laughs> Uh, yes, now, uh, he mentioned that there is one way out that isn't going directly towards where uh, the Enchantress and uh, Force Master are, but it would take you back to the upper city, where you would be uh, f uh, further away from the docks that you originally were trying to go to. That being said, uh, I think that's where you want to go, right? We don't really have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a kind of word it is a way to describe it? Okay, so uh, uh, there we, there are two ways uh, for you to go, and uh, the bard. Uh, I have to to give this guy a name. Let me see. I think I I had a name for him. Let me double check my my notations here. Uh, but yeah, I think you did a wolf, but I don't remember what it was. I, yeah, well, here I found it. It's Alaric. Like a lot. Mm. Okay. Uh, yes, he guides you uh, on this uh, corridor right here. A and Jasper, you can position yourself on the map if you want. Uh, this corridor right here ends in a, a closed door that he doesn't mention. And then he goes to another door. What do you guys do? Uh, uh let's follow him. Yeah, I'm a follow him too. Yeah, I'm uh <laughs> Can I add a little like not like much or anything? I wanna be using my uh, my short sword that I have. Mm -hmm. I haven't really gotten to use it that much. Uh, I'm using it to, as like kind of like a walking stick, I'm just like can I help like brace myself? Can we still a little shaky? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it. That's all I want to. Yeah, you lost too much uh, power on that one. <laughs> I had expanded myself a little bit. Just editing his character sheet right here. Okay. Uh, yes. As the door is being opened, uh, you see in front of you what looks like a. Um, arcane and magical laboratory of some kind. You see all sorts of books and tomes, some scrolls open in these uh, tables all around the, the walls, and in the center you see two corpses lying on, on, on medical beds. They don't look like your normal, uh, your normal corpse, 
Instead, they look like... Uh, you could say that they are magically enhanced somehow. That they are... Uh, they they look like the, some parts of their skin is of a different color, and then uh, and there are some uh, striking features that caught your eye right away. Like they have longer limbs, uh, both of them, and the the their neck is far sturdier than the normal neck. It's wider and uh, it seems more muscular, almost as if they have some minor enhancements to their to their physique okay do you want to do anything else anything here uh, I guess we could just go in the room really can't really do much outside of it I don't think okay yeah do we want to go in there? Do we really have a choice? Uh, if you ask the, if you ask Alaric, he says uh, he's go he goes to this door down here and says this way. Okay, I gotta go in the room then. Uh, can I inspect? Can I, can I inspect these bodies? Uh, see if I like recognize any kind of like any kind of magic, any like uh, technique. I basically want to see if uh, uh, <laughs> he who shall not be named, uh, if he had any like part or like uh, influence uh aid in this uh in these uh the making of these corpses these bodies is uh yeah okay. uh, sure. perfect you can go ahead and roll uh an history uh an arcana check i would love to <laughs> yeah you have that does a, 38 uh, yeah, you have that gut feeling that he probably is, but you cannot tell for sure. It's just still it's still very ambiguous for you. Okay. Uh okay. Uh yeah, you wouldn't recognize uh, if you if there's some signature or some uh, clue on that, mm -hmm. uh, David. But you can instead make a medicine check to discover something else if you want. <clears throat> okay. There is one thing that it's super uh, weird as you. Look at it, David. They seem to be. Either they are. Uh, these two corpses are twins, or they are, for some reason, very, very uh, similar to one another. Can I go over here and see if I, like, check, like, the desk or anything? See if there's anything of note there? Some, like, implements or something? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, make an investigation check. Okay. I also have a pretty good investigation check. Uh, fuck, Ooh, what is that? It's a nice. 19... Okay, cool. Five. Very good, actually. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh my god. Uh, yes. Uh, you do find two spell scrolls. But you don't see anything else that... Any note or anything that would be of too, too useful to you. You find a spell scroll to the uh, Druid, Sorcerer, and Wizard spell Wither and Bloom of 
from um, uh, from which is Strixhaven, and you find the gentle repose spell. Once again, I'll take the gentle repose. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, I see that one, I'll be like, "Hey, Jasper," and I'll throw it to him. All right. Uh, the, the wither and bloom one. And Alariki asks, "Are you done?" Yeah. Nothing else here. Yeah. Okay. As he opens the door, you are all surprised to see that there is someone on the other side, and he he seems to be on his way to to open the door by himself, but instead. You open it first. Four. He is... Uh, strangely, there is uh, an unevenness to, to his appearance. He seems familiar uh -huh. to you, but... you are, At the same time, you cannot tell who or from where you know him. Uh, hi. <laughs> Do they look undead? A little, but not quite. Can I do? Can I do like a roll, like an uh, uh, investigation, something? You don't need to. He, as the door is opened, he looks at the four of you, and especially at you four, and he says. Why it is taking so long. Master is waiting for you. Especially you. You are the prototype, right? Oh my goodness. You don't but recognize me. You don't recognize no. me, right? Do you wish no. to know who I am? You could just tell me. <laughs> I am you, but better. My name is... 44. 44? <laughs> oh. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, you're uh, coming. You're so dickhead. <laughs> Master wants to see you. And I'm allowed he to use wait. force if I want. And then he draws his glaive and holds it with both both his hands. Uh, if I meld you both together, will that make you 48? Not now. <laughs> I don't uh, like that guy. 48 is a dick. I don't like that yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's a Okay, look, I always thought you were kind of chill. <laughs> I mean, look, okay, I get it, you know, you know, I do get it. <laughs> we're still gonna have to kill you, though. That's, uh, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's not, it's nothing. <laughs> oh, please do try. Oh, yeah, I'm, that's, yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> do you want to uh, roll initiative, then? I would love to roll initiative okay. <laughs> Please do. Uh, one thing, the bard, uh, when he when you use revivify, he comes back with one HP, right? Uh, yes, but he got healed for uh, he's at fifteen now, I believe, because yeah, of that uh, healing word. Fourteen? No, uh, cure wounds. Fourteen yeah. plus David's charisma, which is four. Okay, so he's at 19 so, hit points. Yeah. Uh, I clicked it, but it did not... It did not go through. Don't worry, let me handle that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I did it. And then it was like, I don't understand. <laughs> 
Oh, wait, no, it's investigation. Yeah, it's eight. What? Okay. That's weird. And, uh, the feed as well. Okay. Oh, he also got eight? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> David 13 for 8. Yeah, we both got 8, which is very fun. <laughs> very fun, yeah. That's very, that's very funny. Jasper, the clone named 44, drew his glaive and is trying to look menacing to you. What do you do? <laughs> Uh, I... Hmm. Where's the... Where's the bard? Which one's the bard? This one. The one that's right, right on the door. So, hang on one second. So, I'm going to cast Healing Spirit. Oh, it's a bonus action, too. Oh, my goodness. In that case, that's going to be fun. Uh, healing Spirit. And it's going to go right there. So anybody that starts their turn there can get uh, Start. I think either starts their turn or passes through it. I, I'll tell you in one second. That's my, that's my bonus action. And for my action, I'm going to... Shape shift into my starry form, mm -hmm. and it will be the chalice form. Okay. The chalice is the healing one, right? Or is it? The yes, chalice? it is. It's where I get a bonus. Heal. Every time I cast a healing spell, I get a I get a uh, a bonus heal. So All yeah, anytime until the spell ends, whenever you or a creature you can see moves into the spirit space for the first time on a turn or starts his turn there you can cause the spirit to restore 1d6 hit points to that creature no action required can't heal constructs or undeads I can heal a number of oh, times boy. equal to 1 plus your spellcasting ability modifier which I think is 5 uh, and then after that it will disappear and as a bonus action, I can move it. But anyway, all right. What is the appearance of your healing spirit? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, the spell mentions it uh, can be a beast or a fae, but you can be creative and just be let it be anything. Uh, it's a hot nurse. No, uh, uh it will. It will look like a tree, like a, like a small tree. Oh, that's cute. With its uh, branches, you know, so it's spectral, but it's kind of branches are waving and invisible wind, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's what it'll look like. That's pretty cool. And this is the area that it heals. Uh, let me see if I can make you control it. Yes, I can. Tell me if you can move the. No, this is. I want to put it right there. Yeah. Okay. So next, <laughs> well, the beginning of the bard's turn, he'll get the uh, D6 hit points. Yeah. It's a five foot cube. That's why the the aura is squared. But that is it. Okay, uh, and it uh, it heals on the first turn as well. It, as soon as it's the bard's turn, it will heal. Okay, perfect. Because he'll be starting his turn in the space. And that being said, it is his turn to... Okay, he starts his turn there. Uh, how much he gets healed? 1d6. So plus... straight 1d6. Okay, plus Nothing, your, your chalice, right? No. Oh, uh, oh yeah, so that... Oh, that's a good. Actually, let me see how this. Let me just check, double check how this is written. Okay. Uh, yeah, it has been a while since you <laughs> uh, played this character. Um, yeah. uh, <laughs> so, 
<laughs> whenever you cast a spell, that restores hit points. So no, it's only when I cast a spell. So, uh, so it's if I cast like a yes, direct curing. So no, I won't get the bonus chalice on that, but still, it's still an extra d6. It's good. Okay, yeah. Uh, since the bard is being healed, he will do something. Uh... Oh yeah, uh, he he will try and do a taunt. Oh, sorry, I did. I have to use this first. Okay, he will try to taunt the uh, the man named Forty Four. Oh, I wrote that on whisper mode as well. Fuck. Oh, uh, yeah. I whispered it, but I got a twenty. Mm. You can check that on Twitch if you don't believe me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and as a main action, let me see. Yeah, I'll steal uh, David's uh, main play here, and I will cast a, a shatter spell. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, yeah, 60 feet in range. Uh, constitution save. Yeah, how good's that con? Yeah, he, he, he saved. So he, he has a good con. <laughs> and that being said, the Alaric the Bard, let me just move it here first. Alaric is going to take a step back because he wants to continue on the the healing area, but he doesn't want to to be face to face with the, that guy. So David, you're next. Behind mm -hmm. Alaric and bless all three of you guys. Oh, sweet. So you get a D4 on attack rolls and saving throws. Nice. And... Actually, I don't really have anything to use my bonus action for right now, so I guess that's it. Perfect. Four. Uh, what is your dexterity score? My dexterity score is zero. It's a ten or an eleven? I have, I have a ten. I have a ten. Okay. So, unfortunately uh -huh. for you, forty-four will act first. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, let's. Uh, you will not be mad at me if I say that you are his main target, right? Not at all. That makes complete sense. Okay, but yeah. Uh, at first, let me see how, how it goes, but I will try the most as, as I can to to uh, expand more of the of my resources on everyone. Okay, so at first, with a bonus action, he casts Thunderous Might. So the glaive that he is holding starts to uh, spark with lightning at the blade. Uh, and yes, now he goes for his attack. As you can see, he, he wields a glaive, so that uh, means he has 10 feet of reach. So he can... Uh, and with his 3 attacks, he will try the, the 3 that are in front of him. The first one that hits gets Thunderous Smited. And that is going to be you uh, for if I hit you. <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, he's, he has a, a brotherly yeah. rivalry with you. Yeah, there's a. Yeah, I'm just like, that's all of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The rivalry is strong between all of us. <laughs> you receive 10 on slashing plus 11 thunder. Oh no, uh, fuck. Uh, that's 21, I believe. That is. <clears throat> okay, now uh, on the no, bard. 
the bard is hit and he takes 12 uh, the bard w started the combat bloody it uh, but I forgot to to add that so now it is and the third one on Jasper Jasper uh, a 10 I believe doesn't hit you right amazing nope it does not so far after being critically <laughs> hit what do you do oh yeah yeah be extra hard there You know, this would be nice to hit you with all my cool ass spells. Maybe, maybe use my sword. You know, you know, maybe mono we mono the way you like. Ooh. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll just blast you in the fucking face. <laughs> don't, forget about, uh, don't, gonna, don't forget about getting that D6 healing. It's not a lot, but it'll help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna move. Uh, right here <laughs> and then I'm gonna hit him twice with Elder's Blast because I got two rings uh, and then another one so this first one I believe hits yes mm -hmm. that's a D10 there's six <laughs> That is I would be good. That's all. I, that is all I can do. Perfect. <clears throat> Back to you, Jasper. Uh, okay, we'll do uh, healing words at level two on uh, <coughs> four. Thank <coughs> you. Be 12 healing. Nice. And then we'll do my starry form heal on the bard. Which is? Sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Sorry, I haven't played in a while. It's. Chouse, there we go. Here we go. It'll be eight healing for the bard. And then my action will be a cantrip of magic stone. It's fourteen. If that doesn't hit, I get a D four on that. Yeah, you have to Roll your bless. Sixteen. Mm -mm. All right. He is wearing plate armor. Ouch! All right. Dang it! I wish I had heat metal. <laughs> uh. Do you want to move, Jasper? And then I'm gonna back. And then I'm gonna back the crap up uh, this way. Yeah. One thing. You are within ten feet of him, so. You are within uh, attack of opportunity range. Yeah, that's 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 fine. I still want to get the hell out of there. Okay. <laughs> Another ten yeah, against you. <laughs> wow. I have like the lowest armor class in the group, probably. Yeah. Uh, the crappiest, I mean. So yeah, that that'll be it for me. I'm done. Uh, the bard will try once again to taunt. Oh, oh, not this. Um, charisma save. Yeah. His taunts aren't aren't landing. Uh, uh yes. I he, tell the bard to try 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 a mom joke. <laughs> yeah, he cannot try anymore. He he only had super day. What the hell? Oh, oh here. Another shatter and uh, he asks you, uh should I continue? Uh, trying to deal damage or no? <laughs> Try and back up, yeah. and you can do damage from afar. Oh, yeah. Worse than I am. 
and uh, a d6, right? <coughs> yeah, the bard is going to run the hell out of there. Now that you already made the guy spend his his bonus, uh, his reaction, actually. Yeah. Uh, David, you're next. Okay, so... I've seen how, how hard he just hit four. So I'm gonna try and prevent that from happening again and cast full person on him. Perfect. Oh. Ooh. That is a wisdom save. Ooh! Oh. The second twenty. He's so talented. <laughs> That was my action. This man got fucking eighteens all over the board. <laughs> Anything else you want? You want to do? That? Uh, no, I think that's it. <laughs> Let's tango. Another smite. Okay. Um. Glaive on four. Twelve. I don't that think that hit. Mi misses. That misses by one. Okay. Second hit on David. Ah. What the oh, hell is going fuck. on, guys? The third twenty. Oh my god. How much damage do I take? Yeah, you will receive uh, thirteen plus eight slashing, and uh, the smite is doubled as well. And since thunder smite uh, mentions the first time you hit, oh, oh uh, yeah. Oh. So it's thirteen plus eight. I think that's twenty one, right? And then 9 plus Ooh. 12. Ooh, I rolled max damage on the... 9 plus 12, which I believe is also 21, so... <laughs> that... So... Damn. 42 <laughs> points of damage. Ah, ah, ah. You're down to zero? Oh, no. Yes. Okay. Uh, and the third attack on four. Let's see if I can get two for one. <laughs> this time only oh, for no. nine points of damage. Guys, you really oh, need someone yeah. with uh, silvery barbs. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. I was thinking about taking it. Yeah, four. The the good news are uh, first, you can roll a d6 to, to heal. Second, uh, he already spent his reaction, so you can leave his area of danger and not receive an attack on your backs. A. Six. Yeah. Two. Two. Uh. So that is. I'm at seven hit points now. That's great. Uh, okay. Could I? Uh, could I go to David and use my healer's kit on him? Try and get him back up. Try and like help something. Do something. I actually. I recommend you to not do that. Because Jasper okay. is the next one to go. If he just moves the healing spirit where the VD is, he, he doesn't even need to, to spend an action to do that, right? To move? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, bon it's a bonus action to Ooh. move after 30 feet. Yeah. So we'll go right there. Bonus action. And yeah, then, but. but uh, <coughs> and then. Uh, uh, is, four on the down, is four down? Is four dropped? No, four is. I'm four. not down yet. 
he is deciding his act, his course of action. But I mean, uh, probably you are going to to wake uh, uh, David up, so uh, you can leave that to him for if you want to do anything else. Uh, in that case, <laughs> it will. So, so, so unfortunately, no, I can I can keep healing, but that means I can't do any damage. Uh, unfortunately, so it's kind of a kind of a bind here. But I think healing four is probably the best bet. So I will. Oh, where oh no, wait. I'm going to do another healing word. Oh no, that's both. I, I can't. Um, uh, Richard, yeah. is force turn first before you. Is yeah. what? Oh, what can I say? <laughs> yeah, very sad word. Good lose for us when I went back. Oh, yeah. Okay. How hurt is this guy looking? Like, is he looking hurt at all? No. Do we hit him no. at all? I hit him with like six, I believe. <sighs> so it was like, yeah, not great. Okay, then in that case, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast him twice again. Hopefully that will work. Uh, 17 and 24. Yeah, the 17 will not hit, and you lost Bless. So unless you have something else to add to that. Uh, I challenge, don't challenge him to a dance-off. <laughs> I challenge him to a dance-off! Yeah. 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 Fuck! Uh, three. Yeah. We're gonna die so hard. <clears throat> he says, I don't understand what are these caresses you giving me. Well, I'm hitting you with a spell. Uh, you do know what a spell is, right? It doesn't look that. I'm sorry if you are that weak, but that is expected from a prototype. Uh, you know, you know. I'm starting to remember why I didn't like you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm starting to remember just how much of a fucking dick. <laughs> I can dance with you, you for as long as you want, but it's it. It will lead you nothing. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> I have. Uh, no. I got a question. Yes? He just wants. Does he just want me, or does he want all of us? Yeah, he probably has a, a kind of a grudge against you, but. You wouldn't, knowing your master, you wouldn't let, like, three people leave. Like, three uh, possible uh, new slaves for him just leave, you know? But what I'm asking is, he probably wants if to... I offer to go with him, mm -hmm. will that be tantalizing enough to kind of let them go for now? Probably not, because he can just grab the four of you. He thinks, at least, he can grab the four of you anyway, so... Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, well, in that case... Uh, go, go fuck yourself! <laughs> I'm not going down without a fight! Uh, now it is your turn, Jasper. Alright, so I move, I use my bonus action to move the thing, where it is, and then, for an action, since I can't cast Healing Word, uh, I'm going to throw Guiding Bolt, and hopefully not mess, so I'll throw my, one of my freebies, so... Oops, sorry. I rolled my damage first. Come on. Uh, 18 plus D4. Mm. 21? Does a 21 hit? Uh, you don't have Bless anymore, if that's what you... Oh! I didn't realize. Right, yeah. so 18, 18 hit? Uh, yeah, but you rolled a 14 before you rolled an 18, right? No, I rolled an 18. The 14 was damage. Okay, so yeah, an 18 does hit. So, uh, it was going to be 14 radiant damage. Uh, 
And then the next attack gets advantage. Okay. Let me... Oh, I'll put a yellow dot that the next attack has advantage. Uh, yes, I don't have... Oh no, I, yeah, I would rather actually. Let me see what spells this guy have. <coughs> Yeah, temporary HP won't do you too much. Uh, yeah, uh, Alaric, the bard, says... Uh, I have, uh, I think I know a way out. But only for one. Are you interested in that, or...? What does that mean? He's got inspiration dice too, doesn't he? I'm uh, sorry? He's a bard who's got inspiration dice you can give people. Not on his um, character sheet. Instead of inspiration, he has this taunt as a bonus action, but he, um, he only oh, had two okay. per day, so... Damn it, I resurrected the wrong guy. <laughs> okay, uh... Bard, buddy, what does that mean? That one of us can... Leave here uh, and not be seen, but the others will s probably have to stay. Do you think that's a good idea? Let me put it this way. If you abandon us to this fate, I'm going to find you. I'm going to eat you alive. <laughs> Do you understand? I received the You're not message. leaving me here. The message. In this pit. Yes. I will keep one of my spells lots to try that later if all else fails. Um. Uh, how bad? Uh, how uh, hurt are you right now? For how hurt am I? I am at. I believe five. Five. No, seven. I'm at seven. Okay. And at seven. <clears throat> okay, so since the vid is going to be back up uh, on the next turn, and you and he he'll have a turn before you for uh, Alaric is going to healing word four. Uh, so four <laughs> and vicious mockery. <laughs> oh my god, for one on this guy here. I have oh I have only one dice here. Damn it! Where is my saving throw? Guys, the fourth net twenty tonight. What is going on? What is happening? These dice are weighted. I know they're I know they're virtual, but they gotta be weighted. Yeah. That's what's up. David, you Somehow. you heal for one d six that you can roll right now, and you <sighs> are able to act on your turn. Okay. Hey! Look at that. <laughs> hey, you might want to like, get out of the way, honestly. You might just want to leave. <laughs> yeah, I am going to move back away from him. But I'm also going to cast Bane on him. So that's a charisma save. Okay. Okay, first of all, David, he has his reaction back. So, unless you want to crawl. Oh, yeah, but he would have advantage against you. Yeah. <sighs> if you leave, you're going to receive a, a opportunity attack. Okay, so I might just stay where I was. And cast Bane on him. Okay, Charisma save. Charisma save. Ooh, first save that I failed. Alright, alright. There we go. So, now for his attack rolls and saving throws, that's a d4 and it's subtract. Good, good, good. 
and then I'll go with a vicious mockery as well. Your, your brother is way cooler than you. <laughs> <laughs> Poor smiles, Lopez. <laughs> and I crit for the fifth time. Oh my god! Just for clarification, you are rolling advantage on all these. Is he just that good? Yeah, but uh, it's because yeah, it's because uh, when you roll through the token, he always rolls two dice. But whenever I don't have neither advantage or disadvantage is always the first one, the one on the left, so... That is it. That is it, yeah. There's so many nat 20s, yeah. like all the nat 20s. Yeah, but, I, but at least half of them were on, on normal, not on this sort of... Thing. Yeah, not, I'm not saying like, the fair thing, I'm just, I just think it's funny. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> for... Forty-fourth turn, he is going to light his glaive with thunderous magic once again, and he will try at four first. Ooh, I didn't miss, right? Second uh, attack. Yes. A seventeen hits you. Uh, yes, hits me. But I will subtract a sixteen hits you. Uh, 16 does still hit me. Okay. So you receive yeah, I have 13. 17 points of damage. 17? 17, yeah. 10 from Slashing and 7 from Thunderous Smite. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm down. I'm down. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I still have one first level spell slot left. And my third and last attack is going to be against uh, David. <laughs> Does a uh, 13 hit you, David? Uh, yes, but I'm going to use cutting words. Okay. You want me to roll the d8? Uh, yes, please. Hey! Yeah, 13 minus 7, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, and that does not hit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and he... He uh, strikes 4 down, and then he turns to you and tries to uh, strike the glaive at you, but then you distract him with your cutting words. And then he stops the glaive midair, and then uh, draws it back towards him, and looks at you, David, saying, Did I just kill you? Why are you back on your feet? I don't understand this. Four. It's a fucking me! I love him, because I have friends who heal me, because I'm about to do that. Four. You are with right. the 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 area of the of the healing so you can roll a d6 <laughs> yeah you are back on your feet with one hp we're just rolling look like a fog garbage oh my god okay i'm gonna crawl to my feet <laughs> this is Bullshit. <laughs> this whole day has been bullshit. I'm back done with it. I'm gonna elder blast him again in the face. To let the lightning do. Uh, one. Yeah, twenty. Uh, and two. And two. Oh, yeah, let's go. Both hits. We three. Both hit. Okay. Hell. Does that mean? Yeah, all right. Uh, can roll. Nope. Please roll good. Right, yeah. Please. Nice. Like 20 damage. Huge damage. Bad. Bad. 
Yeah. Do I got that net twenty? Can I be cinematic about it? <laughs> yes, please. I think I think that one just goes right in his fucking face. <laughs> just fucking like straight in the center of his face as he takes one. And it kinda like burns a bit. <laughs> he definitely feels it. It truly totally just got it. Uh that's all I can do. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Another round, and we start with Jasper. How many times has my uh, healing spirit healed? Like, well, I think it's three times. I think more than three times, but uh, if it's more than three, then it's gonna then it's gonna it goes away. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was useful <laughs> while it lasted. It was, it was very useful. I'm gonna cast uh, Conjure Animals. And that's gonna be a Polar Bear. <laughs> nice. That's amazing. That is amazing. Yeah, I uh, Fido kill and a Polar Bear shows up. Fido, sick him. Yeah, it'll be... I'll summon it right between me and uh, what's his face, the bad guy there. Let me f <laughs> let me uh, export the import the polar bear sheet. One second. Four <laughs> like, what the fuck, Spider? What the fuck? <laughs> Who brought a polar bear here? How is this guy here? I'll even give this one to you. Uh, if you conjure him right there, you even push <laughs> him five feet away, so uh, everyone can yeah. move before oh. they are opportunity attacked. Okay, right. uh, yeah. let me give you control over the polar bear's sheet. Good bear. <laughs> Fortunate, like lightly pet it and try to hit like, good bear, good, yeah. good bear. Good you bottom. you can <laughs> see the polar bear uh, right on top of Jorno next to Lyrlindra and an Alaric, and he has multi attacks, so you can make one attack with each of his oh. natural weapons. <laughs> where, where did you say he was? I'm still looking. On Jorno, uh, right on top, uh, the second entry is polar bear. Oh, there it is. Got gotcha. you. And then, uh, well, actually, so to finish my turn, I'm going to um, cast Magic Stone. Okay, isn't Conjure uh, Animals a, um, a main action spell? Yeah. Yeah. And Magic Stone? That's why I can't cast him. Yeah, oh, Magic bones. Stone's a... Uh, right. Okay. Oh. Didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Uh -huh. Ten damage. Woo. Hey! The tides are turning. Let's go. And then uh, you said I can I, I do one attack with the bear or yeah. on this turn or yeah uh, yeah you can make him act right uh, right after you so he has two attacks right. <coughs> okay. <laughs> So here comes uh, claws and bite. Team bite. Yeah, neither yeah. of those hit, unfortunately. All right. Even though he's ba he has bane, his AC doesn't go down. Okay, so uh, since four is in a dire situation in regards to health he is going to be healing worded once again hey. and another vicious mockery against our main antagonist with another one damage <laughs> if it is but we don't use uh oh first net one <laughs> oh that one yeah so he has disadvantage right on his first attack 
I believe so. next attack row it makes, yeah, okay. Uh, David, you're next. Uh, no, I'm pretty low, and four, you're still kind of low, but how about everybody else? I'm untouched. Untouched? Yeah, I'm at seven. I will... Cure wounds for... You? Viciously mock him again by saying all the ways that four is better than him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so nice. <laughs> that is oh, wait, it. no. Never mind. That's an option. Is that it for your third? So that's it. Yes. Okay. What? What is this? Uh, did you just summon a bear? Yeah, it's called magic. Have you heard of it? Don't worry. I shall take care of it. So the first one with disadvantage. I got a 10. The next one... <laughs> At normal, all, all of the bear, okay? Mm -hmm. Minus 1d4, 1d4. So, yeah, the. <sighs> yeah, both both of these last ones hit. And the Brandy's Might does something extra, right? Oh, just that the, the target can become invisible. Shitty spell, okay. Uh, yes, I will control your bear's HP. So, minus 9, minus 12, minus 5. The bear is bleeding, he's bloodied. Rude. Fucking up the bear. But he's taking 10 kin damage, so there's that. There is that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast him. Twice, again. <laughs> that one. Uh, and it's 11. Whew. Yeah. You don't manage to land. <laughs> the bear's kind of fucking up the shot. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> he's too big to, for you to aim. Uh, yeah, fight him. Move a little bit, please. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Uh, that's all I do. Okay. Uh, back to Jasper. Uh, well, healing word. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. We'll do a level 2 healing word on the polar bear. Ugh. Oh wait, hey, the wrong thing, never mind. Sorry, yeah. that's not the thing. Yeah. Seven. Okay. Let me... And then I'll do another D8 plus 4 with uh, my chalice. Ability on the pull bear. Another six. Uh, 
<clears throat> then I have an action still. Can't do a spell. Hmm. Uh, I guess that'll be it for me. <laughs> that is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That... Uh, how many spell slots do I have? Yeah, he's going to spend another healing word. Who is uh, closer to death? <laughs> David or, or four? Uh, I'm at 13. David? Six, okay, yeah, David, you received the healing word and another vicious mockery and another crit on the evil paladin, not a crit, but a success nonetheless. It just moves a little just to have a, a closer look at the enemy. And if we go back to David, he just got healed. Okay, I am going to pull out the flute that Four gave me, uh -huh. and play it and cast Shatter. Okay. Shatter is a con oh, save, right? Uh, yep. 18. I'm going to cutting words again. I think that's my last oh, yeah, one of those. Yeah, and I have uh, minus a d4, right? Yes. So 15, does that still save? Uh, my spell save is 15, so I yeah. think so. Yeah, so you have to use cutting words. So I will use cutting words. Okay, now you deal f the full damage. So it is... Well done. Okay. I don't know who has to hear this, but 44 is bloodied. Yeah! Woo! That is it for you, David? <laughs> good job, David! You did great! Oh, fuck! You fucked him up real good! So, so four. I can do that again, but I don't know if you want to be the one to kill him, or if that matters to you. Look, if you manage to kill him, that's 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 good. That's good to me, you know. <laughs> as long as he's dead. <laughs> Forty-four looks at his bleeding arm and says, ah, "This is weird." I was about to be... I, I was getting confused, but then I realized... Four. As a mere draft to a more perfect final result. It you keep saying that. <laughs> you keep... You keep surprising me. But now I see what is your game. You hide... Cowardly behind those who are stronger than you, don't you? Behind the bears. Yes. <laughs> this is it for your game. I will reveal my true form now. And I will end all of you. He takes... Uh, as he you starts taking off his pants and not here. No, please don't. As you can see, he's wearing a mask. <laughs> A blue mask 
that which he reveals. As he does that, his long uh, flocks of hair start uh, to to rise up and uh, form a almost like a crown around his head, and the face beneath the mask is that of a, of a horrific cadaver. It's a wilted and distorted face that once belonged to a human, but now is just a dreadful aspect of a person. And speaking of dreadful aspect, he uses dreadful aspect on all of you. Because each enemy within 30 feet, 30 feet it gets... Uh, that's uh, as a, how can I say it, heated by this? So you can all roll a wisdom save or be frightened. Okay, two successes. Oh, yeah, oh, that's unfortunate. Three successes, and I will roll for. For the bear. Oh, it's not charisma, it's wisdom. Yeah. The bear and David are frightened. I, I have a question. Yes. Just, just real quick. Just for. Is this like a surprise to Four that like he's taking this shape? Uh, like, presumably, I, I, I knew 44, I, I met him, I saw him, I, like, interacted with him. Was he like this when I knew him, or is this, like, new information to me? Uh, I, I, I will let you decide on that one, but I would think it's more interesting if you only met him while he wears a mask. And even though you try to discover, it never... Uh, the answer was never clear to you, but now. Yeah, I, but I like I to think, decide ultimately. I think instead of like fear or shock, I think far for just a moment feels like regret, feels like a deep sadness for forty four. Just like, what is, what has he done to you? What? Is, like, I think he just feels more sorry for him in this moment. Like, the, the length, like, he has been corrupted by their father. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I think he starts to, like, not, like, weep, but, like, kind of kind of get teary-eyed a little bit, looking at his brother. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, that being said, uh, four, it is your turn. You are not frightened, as you just said. So what do you do? <laughs> the bear, the bear is frightened, right? The bear in front of me. Yes. I think. <laughs> Despite his feelings, his brother right now is a threat. And he's one of the few people that can actually do something about it right now. So, a little reluctantly, he holds out his hand, and he's going to Elvish Blast him again. Okay. Uh, so one thing, uh, the first Eldritch Blast has advantage because he got hit by a guiding boat years ago oh. and we forgot about that advantage, so I'm giving it back. <laughs> Alright. Okay, uh, so 17 on that one. Does not uh, fail. And... And <laughs> Yeah, his, his feelings are bothering him a little bit more than he thought. Yeah. <laughs> And, and he uh, just a little bit. Yeah, his face is distracting, so you don't quite get to. <laughs> that, to... that that too. It's very hard to like focus on spells and stuff when <laughs> looking at this guy. Also. Okay, Jasper, 
uh, you are not frightened, so you can uh, have your turn as normal, but your bear is. As What does uh, Frank do? Yeah, the frightened condition states that he cannot move willingly closer to the source, but you don't have to okay. move away if you don't want to, you just cannot move yeah, okay. closer. Okay. But you have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while uh, the the paladin, the, the black guard in this case, is within line of sight. And on his dreadful aspect, uh, it states that once you are 30 feet away from him, you can repeat the save and end the effect. Well, I'm going to leave it there. It's fine. It's blocking. Okay. And I will throw a guiding bolt again. Perfect. Yeah, uh, that's the 12 to hit, hit, so it won't land. Yeah. And then I'll magic stone. Oh, baby. Nope, 17 doesn't hit, right? Yeah, not. Alright, uh, that will be it for me then. Okay, so... Uh, since you are not moving the bear, you can still attack, but both attacks have disadvantage. Right. Uh. Uh. How do I roll a disadvantage? Let me... Uh... Yeah, you can roll a... No. Oh, you missed the crit. Bummer. Yeah. Alright, well. That's that then. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember if I spent the last uh, spell slot, but yeah, why the hell not? Uh, so, yeah, he, he has nothing on him. Oh, let me see if this... If uh, Let me just... Read this spell real quick. Yeah, I can spend one spell slot to cast heroism on David. That way he becomes immune to frighten. I saved you for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> he comes here, he touches David, and David, you lose the frightened condition. Uh, but he has to concentrate on that and you gain temporary HP equals to uh, you gain two temporary HP and once again I will uh, forgot the word uh, vicious mockery him dude I roll only roll ones on vicious mockery and I did not land David, thanks to his heroism spell, you are no longer frightened. What do you do? Uh, we'll continue to play the flute and cast Shatter again. Okay. <clears throat> Shatter is constitution. 21. Minus a d4, right? Uh, 17. Yeah. 17 passes, but he still takes half. Yeah. So, 5. On his turn, he will cast once again the Branding Smite uh, and will attack the bear, possibly killing him this turn. Is there any benefits to that? Yeah, uh, I have a minus a d4. So, uh, for the first one, that's a 13. It will land. So, 6 
plus 10 radiant the second one it's a net 20 it will hit regardless so it's minus 12 the third one yeah even with a d4 even with a 15 is still a hit so the bear disappears and he takes steps closer I'll start to get angry at you why don't you give up now why you still have your lives I'd try something <laughs> it's your turn uh, you can go ahead and it, try I think, as, as crazy as this sounds I think with Thorne's feelings that he has right now that like that like regret and like that sadness I think he's gonna go brother why are we fighting what why look at us look at what he's done to us we're barely people anymore we're just things I'm tired of fighting the kill. I'm, I'm just I'm tired, brother. And I know you feel the same way deep down. You're tired of this. Even if you weren't admit it. I'm not saying aid us. Just let us go. Please. Okay. Go ahead. I, and, and I, want, I, want, I want to roll. I want to roll. Persuasion. Uh, I guess persuasion. Yeah. Persuasion. As much of a long shot as it is. Uh, persuasion. And then, yay. I don't have a good. Yeah, no, actually, I do have a good wisdom. Why the hell not? Yeah. Let Let's yeah. see if a, a minus a d4. Oh no, still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Four. Why? You're what asking happened? me. Why I'm doing this to you, brother? Yeah. First of all, I am not I, your brother. I know. As I said, I am you, but better. And why am I doing this? The answer is very simple. Because our father said to. Now yield or die. For what it's worth. I'm sorry. For all of it. Everything's done. Everything's happened. And I'm sorry for this too. I'm gonna OG blast him in the face. <laughs> okay. Uh since he is at melee with you, you have a disadvantage. Disadvantage. Great. <laughs> Actually, could I use my short sword? You can, of course. Yeah, I forgot. I keep forgetting that I, in fact, own a short sword. <laughs> okay, let's don't see you if have, I. Don't you have that, uh, that magical dagger? Was it with you? For I do. I do also have that dagger. Uh, I could use that. Yeah, I'll use that. The dagger of the Sicari. What does that do again? Uh, I think when you crit, it deals an okay. extra damage. Some some extra damage. That's also a d4. And... Why not? <laughs> it's seven. Does a, does a seven hit? <laughs> uh, yes, it does not. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if, if it is written here. No, it is not. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Anything else? Nah, that's all I can do. Jasper. Alright. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, with my spell. Let's go. Spells. We'll do. Uh, conjure animal again, and it'll be two brown bears, one on either side of them, no. one behind him, and one up to the side. Okay. Actually, yeah, put both. Put both. Now, how big are they? If they're large, put one on each side. Brown bears. Yeah. Two of them. <laughs> like this? Yeah. I will put them on the same place as I did with the polar bear. Oh, baby. Alright, and uh, so here's the first attack. First one. Okay, and you also have uh, flanking, considering one bear is on each side. Okay. So yeah, a 20 will hit for 10 damage, perfect. Uh, and and there is a second. Two, yeah, those two hits as well. Wow. Yeah, you nice. did some good damage right here. Yeah, Alaric uh, has... And I yell uh, Go ahead. Bear with me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he... That's uh, good. Alaric will try to save on his spell slot, so he will go for the cantrips for now. A 10 will not save, so 1 damage plus disadvantage. David, back to you. Okay. I have a second level, so. We're going to cast Shatter at a third level. This time. Oh, nice. You got this to beat, I believe in you. Yeah, I'm on. <laughs> so, it's a constitution save. I did save. Yeah, that saves, but he still takes 14. Okay. Wow! Look at those dice. Look at all those chickens. There's so many. Okay, his turn. He looks at that... A weird looking dwarf that uh, that is within 10 feet of him that was uh, kind of coming from the from the sides dealing some damage here some damage there but then all of a sudden bah, polar bears big bears and uh, he looks at you Jasper say so what are you you're his bodyguard or something I'm your mom Wrong answer, buddy. He casts <laughs> Blinding Smite. And he will attack Jasper. 24 to hit for 13 plus 14 damage. 27 total. How much? 27 total. 27 total? Yeah, and you All have right. to make a constitution save. And you have to, to roll 13 or higher to concentrate on your animals. Okay. 
Okay. No problem. You did saved. Now, <coughs> now one on David. Twenty-three for twelve damage. And I'm And one on four. Twenty-six oh. for ten damage. Uh, I still have three hit points left. Good, because you're next. <laughs> Oh, okay. also, also, uh, also, uh, one thing I forgot, uh, Jasper, go ahead and uh, roll another con save, uh, because you could be blinded by the blinding spirit. Right. Ooh, I'm blinded by the light. Sixteen. Okay, you are not, not blind. Four, you're I have a question. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I'm good. I'm gonna Eldritch Blast him oh. again! I'm gonna Eldritch Blast him, I guess. Oh. I... Um, the spell that the bard cast on me? Have I been... Included? Yeah, I should have been putting the temporary hit points at the start of every turn, right? Oh, yeah! Uh, the her yeah, it's temporary. It's at the start? This is a... Let me hit double points check. equal to... The Oh, yeah, temporary hit points. Uh, at the start of each of its turn. Yeah, but uh, remember that temp HP don't stack, so you can only have two at at a time. So yeah, I'm still down. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and always blast him again uh, at disadvantage, of course. Okay. Uh, the best use of my uh, eighteen and eight. Uh, okay, 18 does hit. Hey, look at that. Uh, boom. 1, D10. 9! Oof. Jasper. That's like it. Oh, wait, can I give, uh... Can I give the help action? To, uh... With your bonus action? Uh, yeah, uh, well, because I have that, uh... uh -huh. It never comes up all that much. <laughs> I have a, uh, apothecary thing that lets me do it as a bonus action. Uh-huh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, you can give can I give to V? Uh, to, like, help him get up? Like, three big saves? Uh... I don't know about that. Oh, yeah, why the hell not? That's all I want to do. Okay, uh, Jasper, your turn. Uh, yep. All right. Uh, I'm. Uh. I'm going to fight defensively, right? That's a thing. A dodge, rather take dodge action. Yeah, That's dodge action, is. yes. I take a dodge action uh, with my action. Uh, and I can still use bonus actions, right? With dodge, or can I not attack? Uh, I don't yeah, yeah, you have to spend your action to dodge. Right, but can I cast Magic Stone with a bonus action? Uh, yes, yes, you can. And we'll do that. Oops, I rolled the wrong thing again. Ah, good. Okay. Yeah, I missed. Yeah. All right, and then the bears. 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 All right. Yeah. First one. Yeah. 17 total, 22, okay for 11 damage. And the second one. Oh, no. Okay, so Jasper, one of your bears deals the final blow. Bruh. How do you want to do this? So the first bear will hit him and he staggers back and then the second one just bites his entire upper torso off. Ah. 
<laughs> well, what is the size of that bear? <laughs> I mean, look how big they are. They're huge. Yeah, okay. I mean, oh. they're like grizzlies. Grizzlies are, grizzlies are like 1,200 pounds, and, and uh, they can be 12 feet tall. They are pretty big. Oh. That was nuts. I used like every spell slot except for like I think a one. That was insane. Okay. Uh, okay, I have a plan. Uh, is that mask still? Uh, is it like on the ground? Yes. Because he took it off. Uh huh. There. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, look uh, I'm gonna pick like, it up. Are you gonna turn into an undead? Is that is that where you're what? going? Is this gonna be what? you? He said he's you. He says I'm a prototype. You know what that means, right? Uh, I mean, uh, not really. Uh, okay, you know, I, no, no, I'm not gonna turn into this guy. Okay. <laughs> I'll uh. Good. Yeah, is real good. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the mask. Uh, can I can I uh, do like an arcana check to see if it's magical? Uh, it is clearly I, not non-magical. Okay, that's good. That's great. Then I'm gonna pick it up. Uh, I'm gonna walk over to the feed. I'm gonna put it on his face. Oh, I'm gonna go. I have a plan. Turn into him. David with oh, zero gosh, HP. <laughs> oh shit! Oh. He's down. Uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, the bard the... the bard comes. I have one last spell slot. Okay, great. You were dead. <laughs> I forgot that you were down. <laughs> oh, oh, we got oh, it. Use my last spell slot. Draw healing word. Okay. Uh. Did we get him for? Is he dead? And we then, did. Uh, Are you okay? Did you get the seven heal for healing word, and I'll yeah. give you another heal in second. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay. Well, that okay. Uh, healing with my chalice and my him. In that case, I'm gonna kneel down uh, to get on uh, David's level. I'm gonna go. Are you okay? I think so. We got it. Okay. I have a plan. Okay. Then I'm gonna put the mask on your face. I'm gonna go. I need you to turn into him. Can you do that? Oh, wait, wait, I do have a second post on. <laughs> yes, I think I could. Hey. What's the plan? You and the bard are gonna act like you're escorting us. Like you captured us. You captured me, you captured Jasper. Hopefully, that will help us bypass a lot of the other bullshit. We're gonna try and get out of here as fast as we can. We're in no shape to fight. But hopefully, we can pull off our way out of here. If you have any better options or ideas, I am all open for it. I think this is the best chance. We have an opportunity here. I think we should use it. Actually, sounds like a really good idea. I think we should go with it. I'm okay. gonna turn into 44. Uh, look I'm gonna take his to help sell the illusion. Uh, I'm gonna hand him like all of all of his fucking gear. <laughs> yeah. Do I get any cool gear? Uh, I. Hey, is there any cool gear? I, uh, the Alaric says, I understand where that plan comes from, but we still have that other way out now that the path is clear. 
Go by up. But uh, I will let you guys decide. Okay, hold on. Bard, come here. Uh huh. Okay. How? What are all the ways that we can leave from here? Yeah, I'll point. Okay. Uh, if we do this, uh oh, sorry. If we do this, and then we follow the the other stairs upwards like this. We will land straight on their on their laps, but if we go here and then here and then here, we f will find a entrance to the upper levels of the city. As I said, the thing is, uh, we will have to climb or throw some ropes, or if any one of you know how to fly, that would be good. But <laughs> other than that. But, but we will not have to to find them unless okay. they go downstairs but you know how powerful mages are they will not ever think of coming down here on their own they will just uh, send more minions let me tell you from personal experience don't underestimate my uh my master or whatever the fuck uh He's not going to send that many guards until he comes down here himself. Okay. Uh, which way is safer, do you think? I know safety is a relative term. But which one do you think we have the best chance of getting through in one piece? Well, because um, the disguise is pretty good. Uh, yes, I. It at least. Yeah, but the thing is, the disguise plan will uh, will demand that we we do our part uh, without any uh, room for error or improvisation. If we just leave mm -hmm. without dealing with that then we are good but uh, yeah yeah there is always the chance we we, we just uh, cannot climb that that gap I'm gonna be really honest with you Bard I'm not looking too hot <laughs> <laughs> I'm not what, what very strong we could do both the skies is when we get there and, and Yeah, at the very least, uh, keep away a lot of the lower level guards and whatever from touching with us. It'll give us a little bit more breathing room. Look, I just went out of here. And I don't really care how we do it, but I want to do it in a way to where we are in our best position. Like, you know this place better than I do. I'm trusting your board here. Well, uh, you really should. <laughs> but since you are, I think we sh Knowing it's not because of one is safer than the other, but because if if the 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 my plan goes wrong. We might get uh, a little hurt from the from the fall, maybe something like that. But if your plan goes wrong, the enchantress will not have mercy on us. Do you understand that? She is. Ruthless. I don't really care about. I'll be, I'll be honest. Her her priority in my. Uh, I much care about the other one getting away from us. Okay. So you agree with me then? But I do agree with you. Your point is still valid. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me take you here. I guess... Follow me. I guess we'll keep the disguise thing in the back pocket. Yes, please. We'll still take a stuff, and if we need to... Uh, can you hold on these bears for a little while longer? Maybe they will help us. We can climb on top of them. 
Uh, give me a minute. Let's see. Uh, okay. uh, I'm gonna put my like my hand on uh, Defeat's shoulder. And be like, are you sure you're okay? Took a lot of damage that time. Just want to make sure you're all right. <laughs> yeah, up to an hour. I got him a long time. I, to, I can I can keep him for up to an hour. Okay. So I go ahead and take all of his clothes. In case? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, take all of the stuff just in case. Maybe, like, shove them in a corner somewhere. Actually, could we put them in the storage room? That might be better. So that way they don't yeah, find us quickly. We could just stuff them into one. <laughs> or we could have your bears eat them. Just all the way. If you have uh, oh, con conjure pigs, then yeah. conjure pigs. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go with we'll go with the original plan of climbing and whatever, because that might be the best option. Keep the dis keep that disguise plan as like a backup. Um, exactly. I think I might go ahead and be turn into him in case we run into anybody yeah. else. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. <clears throat> here, can you help me with this? No, here. With what? Oh. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, wait, 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 wait. As you go there, uh, you see the, the stairwell that he mentioned. That if you would go up, uh, you would end up on the back of the mansion, and probably face to face with the enchantress and the uh, force uh, creator. But on this other oh. turn here, you can see uh, that there is a puddle of water on the floor, and there is a dropping that's constantly. Uh, dropping on from top to bottom as you look up you cannot see any sort of light at the end of the tunnel because the necropolis as said before doesn't have light so instead you see the a little less shadowy end to that tunnel but that is some 40 feet away from where you're standing right now, uh, uh, directly upwards, 40 feet directly upwards. Uh, that being said, he 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 looks at you. So I think that the, we can at least go, uh, uh, get on top of the bears and have a little start up, but we will have to climb unless you guys have anything else. Wait, I I have one of them. Huh? So I'm gonna like, drink the second half of my mana elixir. Okay. <clears throat> um, how many spell slots did that give me? Back again? You have to roll uh one d three. You just type on the. On the row 20 uh, slash r space 1d3. Oof, yeah. Three. You recuperate three levels worth of spells. So you can grab three le first level spells, one third level, one second, and one first. Okay, so I'm gonna take a second level and a first level. And then how tall are the bears? Uh, <laughs> how tall are brown bears? Google search. About three to yeah, five feet good. at the shoulder and five to seven in length. Mm -hmm. Very large brown bears can measure almost nine feet tall when standing on their hind legs. Um, 
So um, let's assume they are seven cool. feet tall on the on their hind legs. So if I want to see what's how far can I go with Misty Step? I think it's thirty feet. I think it's thirty feet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, so, uh, one thing, uh, David, if you uh, manage to uh, to balance yourself with your feet on the shoulders of the bear, you will be able to miss the step all the way to the top, because uh, combining your height with the bear height, uh, and let's say you just take a little jump at the end before you cast the spell. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. You you want me to roll dexterity to see if I can balance on the bear? Yeah, your choice of uh, acrobatics or athletics just to keep the balance. That's seventeen. Okay, that will do. And I am taking rope with me, so I'm going to climb up onto the bear, Misty step up onto the top, and then drop rope down so everyone can climb up. Perfect. Is there anything I can tie it off to? Okay, so with the help of a rope, uh, you find, uh, you, you on top of that, you uh, as you uh, teleport, to the top of the of the tunnel you have to poof, hold your hand on the edge of the of the tunnel entrance but using all your strength you are able to climb all the way to the top and you see that it is some sort of well that's uh, at the side of uh, the enchantress house but as you look to its door the door is closed there are no signs no sound coming from within and you look around, you are on an empty street, as the streets usually are at the necropolis. So, there is no one actively searching for you right now. You can throw the rope down, and with the help of the rope, uh, you can uh, give advantage to both, uh, to anyone who will use the rope to climb. <laughs> Uh, I think I think Jasper should go before me or the bard. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna like Jasper. You about ready? Jasper, are you with us? Sorry, goes out of it there. <laughs> uh, I teleported up and out and threw a rope down. Alright. Well, I guess I will dismiss my bears and climb the rope. Okay. Keep the bears down there in case anybody tries to come up behind us. Yeah, there's that. One bear can block the entire corridor. <laughs> look at the look at the size. Look at all those chicken. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so Jasper, if you wish to climb with the rope. You can go ahead and roll your choosing of athletics or acrobatics, but with advantage. All right. Seventeen. Okay, a seventeen will do. With enough time taken, Jasper eventually reaches the end of the tunnel. Uh. Okay, who uh the Alaric looks at you, 
uh, and asks, uh, I go first or you go first for? Do you mind if I go first? No, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go and climb up. Athletics or acrobatics with advantage. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. Okay. So, um, everyone, roll a d6. No questions asked. There are no questions asked. Uh, four. Jasper rolled the six. It is six. Okay, perfect. After uh, the three of you go, uh, the bard is coming next, and I got a twenty-two, and then the bears eventually can go right after all of you. You leave this house through the through the one exit. That probably the the mistress of the house will not uh, try to search you by, and you find yourselves in the darkness and shadows of the necropolis once again. You still have no signs of the dark child. You now have uh, fewer places uh, where you are safe to go, since both this house and the uh, the docks seem to be out of your reach. So, once again, you are free to wander, but aimlessly, mm -hmm. that will be, since you have fewer, uh, f uh, even less clues as to where you should go mm -hmm. and what you should do. You well, I just want to find a home in the ground and sleep and <laughs> take a long rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think you are looking for a long rest right here. But that will be uh, seen at the next session. Actually, let let me do the, let me do this. Uh, you find a suitable place to long rest. You long rest. You recuperate, and you level up. Oh, nice! <laughs> but while you are resting, you cannot. You can not not think about the direness of the situation, the the less and less options that are presenting towards you, and what is exactly that you will, will try to do the following days. But that remains to be seen, remains to be talked about next week right uh yes yeah. so yes. since i took 44's gear to disguise myself as him did my armor class go up at all yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. actually you have to to have proficiency with plate armor oh dang i do not let me see uh, let me see I may. I have an idea for my next level. Uh, I was going to do another level in Apothecary and then do like some levels in Cleric, maybe. But I'm thinking after this like whole mess, <laughs> all the like the emotional like stress he's been under just in like the span of like 24 hours. Uh, I may take my next level in Cleric. Okay. I see no problem in that. Because, uh, yeah, let's, uh, when you move to class, let's say you've been your whole journey uh, studying the, this path and the, developing your faith, and now it reaches a point where you can finally benefit from, the, from your time and your studies, right? <clears throat> and it's a good multi class. <clears throat> I I just think right now he's looking for some like guidance, something to like help protect him, to help like just some, 
No, I just he's just looking for a helping hand, honestly. And I think he's glad because he has that book of religions. Uh, yeah, I, I think it makes a lot of sense in this given juncture to take that next level in cleric. Yeah. Uh, I see that as well. It's also <laughs> a therapy art of his. <laughs> 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 kind of help him. Because uh, he does not like his magic. Oh, he doesn't have like the greatest relationship with it. Uh, about him pursuing something that's like his own thing, you know. Uh huh. I don't know. I just think perfect. I, it's very cool. I, I think it's fitting for for how you've been portraying for so far. And yeah, usually people who who have uh, like who suffers a lot on their background tends to turn to. To some comfort like faith and religion so I guess that makes sense even for the for the normal human being yeah did you like today's sessions do you think you were about to die there? it was so good you did, you did so good that was awesome thank you hope to have the full party next week ready. Hope to have even some more people joining us if everything goes as planned. But that is it, guys. Yeah. I I don't know how late it is for you right now, but I starting to feel sleepy and I'm going to mm -hmm. go rest. Take my long rest. Yeah, we'll see you. Thank you. Yeah. See. Thank uh, you. See you. you. See you guys until.